Welcome to Full Court Fits, the show that takes you around the world of NBA fashion while also bringing you the latest, greatest, biggest news in sneaker culture today. I'm Big Waz. Let's go. Let's hop right into Copper Drop. My man, Miles Turner of the Indiana Pacers for now. I'm a Miles Turner stan. I'm a bit, bit of a Miles Turner truther. I love the guy's game. I think he's been severely underrated basically for the majority of his career. However, here he's in a brand called Gang Yuck. My Korean homies, please help me out on the internet if I'm saying that wrong. This is a crew out of South Korea. A really cool brand, right? Like they do shit like, you know, use airbag materials from vehicular wreckage. I don't know that this jacket is for me, but I'm not mad at Miles Turner for stepping out. Of course, Acne Studio, legendary brand. I think the weirdest part of this outfit is the custom Air Ones. It's got like a rope as the, it's like a, you know, <laughs> it's like a, like that you would see on a ship. It's like a rope as the laces, that's the custom design. Not for me, right? Generally all white is something I tell people to stay away from. Only thing I do like is the Virgil LV millionaire frames. Of course, you can never go wrong with those frames. I think there's just too much going on here at once. Gotta drop this fit. Sorry, Miles Turner, we love you though. Next up, Malik Monk of the Los Angeles Lakers. Shouts to Malik Monk. He's been heating up ridiculously lately. However, <laughs> leopard print, <laughs> tall T style cardigan from a brand called Needles, v Lone pants, and of course the Virgil off-white dunks. A lot of people paying tribute to Virgil these days, rightfully so, rest in peace to the legend. You gotta be careful when you're doing animal print, just generally speaking, and if you're gonna do off-kilter fit this way, as far as the length of the cardigan and the styling of it, it's like, you know, it's different. If you're gonna do something that to the left, I think your sizing has to be a little bit more conventional if you want to pull it off. And then, of course, these V-Lone pants are also, it's just wacky. It just looks like a guy who's dressed up as some type of Halloween character. There's ways to get some of this done, but just piling all of these patterns and ridiculousness at one time, it's just, it's just in poor taste we dropping this fit. It's really interesting what's going on with Adidas and the Kobe line. Obviously, we had Wendy on to talk about the Kobe drought and how Nike is no longer making any of Kobe's signature shoes from his line with them. We see Adidas is in good enough standing with the family and the estate that they're putting out their line of Kobe's and retroing those. I don't think people these days associate Kobe with his early days and Adidas. I'm washed. I remembered the class of 96. I remember Kobe being an Adidas athlete first. I remember the Crazy Eights. Obviously, we remember the freaking moon shoes. I remember that. But I think Kobe became a god in basketball and sneakers after he made the Nike transition. However, Adidas for All-Star, during All-Star next month in February, they're gonna come out with the crazy 97 EQTs. They're calling it the 1997 All-Star. I just think it's interesting in a time when Nike's no longer making these kicks, that Adidas is stepping right in and being like, look, we got a Kobe catalog, come check us out. Everything Nike has put out related to Kobe since his tragic passing has flown off the shelves. It's must-have products. I wonder if the Adidas stuff is gonna have the exact same effect. I'll be very interested to see what happens with the Adidas Kobe line, but yeah, check this out next month. The Don Draper of Wyden and Kennedy, Trevon Edwards, Black Trey was popping, boy. What's going on, man? Ugh, I don't want to be known as that. <laughs> you don't want to be the Don Draper of nah, Wyden and Kennedy? I don't want to be the Don, I don't want to be the Don Draper. Not only, you know, do you work in the industry in both a media capacity and on the ad and marketing side, but like you are one of the most passionate people about sneakers that I know. When it comes to the sneakers, like you got a very specific taste of shit that you're into. It's the top of the mm -hmm. year. I wanted to get people excited about sneakers that were coming out this year. I know you were gonna hit me with some shit that people might not be as attuned to. So I wanted right. to talk about, you know, some of the dope sneakers this year. The first up, 
Nike Air Max Penny One. I'm 34 years old. In 1996, 1997, 1995, Penny Hardaway was the second coolest basketball player on the planet. Like, it was Mike, and then it was Penny. That's who people wanted to be like. I always love the Penny line. Talk to me why you're excited about these Penny Ones to drop. Uh, this is a nostalgia. It's like a Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo dropping. It's just one of those shoes. When you think about the association of, you know, them coming out in 96, you know, that was a probably the greatest sneaker year of all time. You got the Jordan 11, you got so many other shoes that were just kind of intro. But the Penny had the little Penny doll, shouts to White and Kennedy for coming up with that that commercial. My 11 year old self still feels that at 37 now where I'm just like, man, you know what I mean? Like yeah, that shoe, you wear that shoe, people that either couldn't afford it, people that have owned that shoe, that's a conversational starter. That's going to associate with memories. That, that's a must cop. I mean, I'm going to get two pairs. I don't want to be greedy, but <laughs> yeah. I just I just know that I'm going to wear one pair more than often. And, you know, stuff happens. Gotcha. People step on them. And then gotcha. I have one on ice that I can just, okay, let's retire these or give them away. And to keep it in the penny line, the Nike Air Penny 2 collaboration with Stussy, which, you know, of course, Stussy, the OG New York streetwear brand, they basically started it off for everybody. Whether it comes from Supreme to Crooks and Castle, rest in peace, to Noah, to Ami Leon Dor, all of these people who get busy today, they owe a debt of gratitude to what Stussy did as a brand, man, like, and is still doing. To see these two brands, the Penny brand and Stussy lock in, like, super exciting. I feel like you're somebody who has, like, collab fatigue, but I could tell, but I understand why you would be really into these joints. I'm married to the model, the silhouette. That's all. <laughs> I, I haven't seen, um, I don't know what it is, but there's two shoes that have my heart, right? The Air Zoom Flight 95, which is coined the Jason Kidd, right? It never was his shoe. Same way as the Air Max Up Tempo, where we call them the Scotty Pippins. It never was his shoe either, but they wore them the most. So the J Kid and then the Penny 2. A shoe that is so timeless that the silhouette still could live like it came out still today. Kills. It's like a classic album. If food and liquor came out right now, you know what I mean? Gotcha. You'd be like, ah, yes. but go get it. You know what I mean? So that's Facts. what the Penny 2 means to me. I, I'm all in. I don't even have to see them. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to mark that. We haven't seen yet. it, but we know we're in good hands. Next up, we got the Nike SB. How do I say this? Eyeshot? Eyeshot where? Eyeshot where? Don't kill me, skateboarders out there, please. Tell me why you pumped about these joints. Oh man, the reverse swoosh, the panel, like <laughs> I get nerdy about it right now because no, we want you to get nerdy. They're they're pushing the limit. Nowadays mm -hmm. the designer's like, oh, I'm gonna get a one and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna just change the color and then everybody's like disruptor. And it's like, <laughs> no, no. Like I respect you put your twist on it, but like, cool. This shoe is new. The toe cap is like resemblance of a dunk, but not really, you know, and he's like a black skater just killing the game right now. He's been killing it for a long time. He's the first black skater, you know what I'm saying, to have a Nike shoe, whatever it takes, even if I got going gold or StockX or something, like, you know, to get him, I'm gonna get him. Last but certainly not least, man, the Union Nike Cortezes that are coming out. Obviously, this is special because the Nike Cortez is very special to LA people. And you being a Compton native, could you just speak to the significance of the Cortez for Union to be making their own, them being an L.A. shop? I think it's the right collaboration. I don't think too many can touch a Cortez, you know what I'm saying? And we've seen it. The Cortez, man, just means so much to L.A. culture, just the gang culture. In two Americas, it's Forrest Gump. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it just, it just, it really, you know what I mean? Like, it just depends, but it's definitely a, a, a shoe that is timeless. The Cortez is now my shoe of choice. Like being in New York, especially, like it's kind of like my LA staple. You know, if they're clean, they're cool, they even look good beat up. And uh, with this union pair, man, like you got the corduroy on the side, the blocking's different, you know what I'm saying? Like they're, they're taking a little risk and they got the little quirky front. It's a lot of fun aspect to them, you know what I mean? So um, I could see some non-traditional Cortez lovers actually getting them. Too, Absolutely. you know what I mean? I want to thank you for coming on today, man. Obviously, the people can find you at The Athletic. They're seeing your work across the fucking globe, whether it be McDonald's and fucking J Balvin. I'm just like, yo, this guy is all over the place. 
Very proud of you, bro. You're freaking Appreciate killing it. it. Thank you, my boy. Thank you. That's our show for today. Make sure you subscribe to The Ringer's YouTube page. Make sure you're putting on the notification so that you get a ring as soon as this drops every single Friday afternoon. I'm Big Wise. We're out. Peace.